It's no secret that the biggest positional need for the Raptors right now is a backup point guard, but they may be in the process of trying to sort this out by signing Summer League standout Jeff Down to a two-year deal. So in today's video, we're going to break down his Summer League performances that landed him this contract and also talk through what sort of impact he'll have on the Raptors and the 905 this season. Let's get into it. What's going on, NBA and Raptors fans? It's Jacob here back with Amateur Hour Sport for another Toronto Raptors YouTube video. On this channel, I bring you the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news. So to stay up to date with all that content, make sure you are subscribed to Amateur Hour Sports and you can help us on a road to 11,000 subscribers. Also, if you find yourself enjoying this video along the way, be sure to drop a like. It really does go a long way to helping out the channel. But today's video is all about Jeff Doughton Jr., who just signed a two-way contract with the Toronto Raptors. Raptors, and this comes as absolutely no surprise to Raptors fans after watching him play in the Summer League. He was great. He was quietly likely the best player for the Raptors all throughout Summer League. And honestly, coming into Summer League, this just wasn't a guy that we may have heard anything about at all. I mean, he had some standout performances in the G League last season for the Lakeland Magic over the course of an entire season where he was very impressive and comes into the Raptors Summer League teams and earned himself a spot on the roster for next season. I mean, he was great in Summer League. He was great in Summer League. And this is what the Summer League is for. You know, obviously, you like watching those bigger prospects like Christian Coloco or watching those returning players like Delano Banton. You want to see, you know, what kind of level they're producing. And Summer League is, you know, for these guys, Summer League is something where you want to see them excel. You want to see them as way too good to be in the Summer League. And though I'm not necessarily sure that's what I saw from those guys, I think for Jeff Dowden, I can confidently say he was too good for Summer League. And as a result, the Raptors are rewarding him for those great efforts and giving him that two-way contract. So over the course of this video, we're going to talk about what he produced in the G League last season, also in the NBA last season, and what we can look forward to seeing with him in the NBA and in the G League this season. And also, we need to discuss how the roster kind of shakes up as a result of giving him this two-way contract as opposed to this summer camp sort of tryout contract. So first of all, Jeff Down was great in the G League last season for the Lakeland Magic. He also had a very brief stint with the Wisconsin Herd after signing multiple NBA contracts, but nonetheless, over the course of the entire G League season, these stats are very, very nice. He averaged 21 points per game with 3.7 assists, 5.7 rebounds, and a very lovely, oh my goodness, for a point guard, 56% shooting from the field, 43% shooting from three, and the free throw percentage could be better, but 73%, I guess, is acceptable, especially with all of those other stats going on. He also had an outrageous 33-point performance against the Raptors 9 of 5 that almost got the Lakeland Magic a pretty important win, but it was a Reggie Perry dagger three-pointer, essentially, at the buzzer, which killed this really good game for Jeff Down, helping out the 9 of 5, but still, a very good game, nonetheless, statistically, for Down. Maybe that's what caught the eye of a lot of Raptors scouts, which gave him this opportunity in the summer league. But I mean, those stats can kind of speak for themselves along with the performances. Those performances as well caught the eyes of many NBA teams. He had stints with the Orlando Magic, the Milwaukee Bucks, and the Golden State Warriors in the NBA. He played four games, one game, and four games respectively for all of those teams. So not much of an impact there. It was kind of just injury filler, probably a lot during those periods when players were going into protocols and teams needed emergency replacement players. But nonetheless, caught the eyes of a lot of teams, caught the eyes of the Raptors, and that's why he was given the opportunity in Summer League. And this is the great thing about summer league like I said you want to see players earn their spot with the team we go back to the previous summer league where you know obviously Scotty Barnes was playing really well obviously President Chua was playing really well in summer league last season but also Justin Champagny a player going into summer league that many of you may have never heard of I certainly had never heard of him going into summer league but impressed me and impressed the Raptors even more importantly to earn himself a contract with the team and out of nowhere was getting some pretty good minutes with the Raptors especially in the first half of the season second half of the season showed his developmental strides and was making huge huge impacts for the Raptors 9 of 5, especially late in the season and even more especially in the playoffs for that team. Jeff Down could be looking to do some similar things in this situation because the Summer League was very impressive. Kind of carried on where he left off in the G League. His Summer League stats were almost as impressive. I mean, the 16 points per game, 4.3 assists, 3.8 rebounds, and the field goal percentages, they pretty much maintained. I mean, 57% shooting from the field for a point guard, again, is just crazy, especially when you're averaging 16 points 
points per game, 36% shooting from three, which is, which is great. And the thing I was concerned about, the free throw percentage, a very small sample size. I know that, I know that, but still, improvements maybe. 92% shooting from the free throw line, and that was enough for the Raptors to give him a two-way contract. Now, the two-way contract, this is what made me a little bit surprised. Maybe not surprised that he got offered the two-way contract, but I was more so expecting him to get you know, that summer camp sort of tryout contract that players like DJ Wilson were getting, players like Justin Champagne were getting, something that Armani Brooks was already on. How it works for your NBA rosters in the summer is that you're allowed 20 players. You're allowed 20 players, but only 17 can make your actual roster at the end of the summer. 15 players on their NBA contracts and two players on their two-way deals for a total of 17 players. Now, right after the draft, the Raptors gave one of those two-way contracts to Ron Harper Jr. And you know what? Overall, in Summer League, Ron Harper Jr. didn't necessarily impress a ton, but maybe his skill set didn't quite fit there. I think he's going to be a good player in the G League. That'll give him a good opportunity to develop his game a little bit more. And that only left one spot available. And, you know, there's guys like... DJ Wilson, who could have been on that two-way deal. There's guys like Justin Champagny, or also David Johnson, who could have been on that two-way deal, but they decide instead to give it to Jeff Down. Now, with Jeff Down signing that contract, there are 19 players currently on contract with the Raptors. They're allowed to bring on one more. They're probably just going to bring in somebody to kind of fill out the numbers for the summer camp. Maybe, just maybe, they earn a spot somewhere. They earn a spot within the team or somewhere else, like the way Reggie Perry did last season, playing for the 905 extremely well, earning himself a spot with the Portland Trailblazers instead. But still, this is kind of showing some signs that somebody is going to be going out the door within the team that was there last season. We've signed on two guys in Ron Harper Jr and Jeff Dowden Jr., who are going to fill up those two-way spots. David Johnson and Justin Champagne were on those two-way spots last season. So now, all of a sudden, Justin Champagne and David Johnson need to work that extra little bit harder because they can't fall back to those two-way contracts. They got to be in those first 15 guys to be on the NBA roster. Now, Justin Champagne is a player, I believe, who has done more than enough so far to be in the driver's seat to earn a spot on the team in that top 15 on the roster. But David Johnson, the 47th overall pick from last season, is somebody who has really, really, really been underwhelming. He was underwhelming in his season in the G League last year. Like, he was fine. He was, like, barely good. But you would have expected more out of the player we drafted 47th overall. And I was expecting to see some improvements for the Summer League this season. I was expecting to see, okay, what sort of strides is David Johnson making to get to the next level? And I was so underwhelmed. He looked like the exact same player, if not worse, than the player that he was last season. And the Raptors seemingly after giving Jeff Down this contract, are ready to move on from that point guard and prioritize this point guard, developing this point guard. Now, it is kind of important to say Jeff Down isn't exactly like a prospect, an up-and-coming prospect. He's not old, but he is 25 years old. And you know that's not really the developmental age that you're typically looking for, but his talent has kind of just taken over that aspect. He is so much better than what David Johnson can offer that Down is worth giving that spot to over the likes of David Johnson, who I am very much expecting to get cut from the roster at the end of summer camp. That's just kind of the way it is. I don't really care about losing that draft pick. I mean, it's kind of a sunk cost at this point. You use that draft pick, sure, whatever, it was a 47th overall pick, but there's no point of keeping somebody on the team that you have no belief in developing. Jeff Down could be a player that maybe you can get something at an NBA level, but more importantly, this is going to be a player that is going to thrive in the G League. And, you know, teams care about their G League teams. You want your G League team to have success, and Jeff Down is a player, I believe, who can provide them a lot of success. But for a Raptors team who is lacking in the point guard position. Like, there was three specific things I wanted the Raptors to address in this offseason. I wanted catch-and-shoot threat off of the bench. I think we did a very good job in addressing that while also keeping the the six foot nine, seven foot wingspan dream alive by signing Otto Porter Jr. Excellent signing, in my opinion, by the Toronto Raptors. I wanted some more rim protection, and drafting Christian Coloco doesn't necessarily solve that immediately. I think he needs a little bit more time to develop to get to the NBA level, like getting consistent, consistent heavy minutes here. But at least the Raptors have put some 
sort of thought into addressing the rim protection issues. And the third most important thing, or one of the top three most important things the Raptors needed to address was getting a backup point guard, which they have not done yet. And it doesn't look like they are going to do. But Fred Van Vliet is your starting point guard, your backup point guard. I mean, I asked you guys who you think it's going to be, and a lot of you guys seem to think it would be Malachi Flynn. Now, I really wish I asked this question before he dropped 73 points in a Pro-Am game, which, to be honest, doesn't really mean a lot. Like, Isaiah Thomas dropped 81 points in a Pro-Am game last year. You didn't really see him doing anything in the NBA in this most recent season, but... A lot of you guys said Malachi Flynn, a lot of you guys said Delano Banton, but also a lot of you guys said Jeff Downey Jr. A lot of you guys believe he can step into that role for next season. Now, my answer for this question would have been different to what the majority of people here said. My answer to the backup point guard is just essentially let a forward do it. When Vriven Vliet's on the bench, well, then Scotty Barnes or Pascal Siakam can be your point guard. They showed last season, especially Siakam, that they're more than capable of taking the load as the main ball handler. But it's still nice to have that fallback, especially maybe if Fred Van Vliet gets injured. And Jeff Down, who was impressive in the G League last season and was impressive in the Summer League, I expect him to get an opportunity. And Malachi Flynn, Delano Banton last season, didn't really do a lot to grasp that backup point guard position. It's there for the taking. And if Jeff Down has a good summer camp and he has a good preseason, it might just be his spot for the taking. We'll see what happens here, but great pickup by the Raptors. Great job by the scouting team yet again. We may have found our latest hidden gem. So how do you guys feel about the Raptors signing Jeff Down Jr.? What sort of role do you think he's going to have with the club next season? Let's hear your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below because that is it for me for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please, if you did enjoy, be sure to drop a like. It really does go a long way to supporting the channel because when you like this video, it lets YouTube know that people with similar interests to you may also enjoy this video and therefore it is recommended to more people. It takes you just a second to like the video, but it does help me out a ton. And make sure you are subscribed to Amateur Hour Sports. We're getting so close to 11,000 subscribers. And in return, you get the greatest coverage and analysis on the latest Toronto Raptors news all throughout the offseason, into the next season, and beyond that. We'll see you again next time for another video.